You can see my screen, correct? All right. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. So today we are just going to go through different uh, engineering branches. Agar aap logon ko agar nahi samaj me aari hai, to I can speak in uh, Urdu, Telugu, whatever the language you want. So just uh, message karo. Yani to at the end we can go with uh, questions and answers. ठीक है सो इन इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांचेस प्राइमरीली इन लाइक ट्रेडिशनली लाइक थर्टी फोर्टी ईयर्स अगो देर यूज टू बी ओनली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल आयन इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग दीज वर द ओनली ब्रांचेस इन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन पास्ट बट दीज डेज फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स आर सो most of the uh, colleges started having uh, computer engineering and in 2024 especially in 2024 not in 2023 most of the colleges have reduced the number of seats in mechanical or civil or similar branches and uh, they have increased massively they have increased the seats in computer engineering ab yahan pe ho gayi problem because there are so many different types of computer engineering branches people are really confused definitely they they have to be confused they, there are so many branches sometimes with a lot of experience i am getting confused what is this branch means so my understanding is for now at least for now in 2024 these are all just names they might not be teaching so much and if you go through the syllabus you will be able to understand there is no big difference between these branches that is the first thing i just wanted to clarify to aapko agar hai na koi seat nahi mil rahi hai na ai mein nahi mil rahi ml mein mil rahi ml mein nahi mil rahi data science mein mil rahi csc mein mil rahi artificial in wo kya bolte hain information technology you take whatever you are getting number 1 if you have very good rank and you are getting seat whatever you want to find out in those colleges do they have a very good trained qualified staff do they have any very good labs and do they have the course for last 3 or 5 years these are the things people have to look for if if they are having very good rank and they can get the seat wherever they want ठीक है दैट इज द बॉटम लाइन फॉर एवरी वन नाउ लेट्स गो इन टू ईच ऑफ दीज कोर्सेज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एवरी वन नोस वॉट इज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इट्स ऑल अबाउट रोड रोड्स बिल्डिंग्स कंस्ट्रक्शन एयरपोर्ट्स एनी कंस्ट्रक्शन इट इट ऑल कम्स अंडर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग देर यूज टू बी अनदर कॉल आर्किटेक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग इट माइट बी देर इन सम कॉलेज इवन टूडे दैट इज ऑल अबाउट ईस्थेटिक लुक जो खूबसूरत दिखाई देती बिल्डिंग को है ना जो कमर्शियल बिल्डिंग्स होते हैं अदरवाइज द इंटीरियर डिजाइन आल्सो कम्स अंडर आर्किटेक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग सो इफ इन फ्यूचर पीपल आर नॉट गेटिंग द सीट इन कंप्यूटर अदरवाइज पीपल आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन कंप्यूटर्स दे कैन टेक द आर्किटेक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग वेर एवर इट इज अवेलेबल सो दैट इज वन थिंग अब रही बात विद इन द कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग दीज आर द डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस द कॉलेज हैव स्टार्टेड before go to computers there are two other engineering let me talk about the mechanical engineering is all about the industries companies in companies industries everywhere you need a uh, someone with a mechanical engineering degree and in mechanical engineering degree what you are going to learn is, is uh, how the industry works how the manufacturing happens what are the different types of manufacturing is there you you are going to learn about the automobiles you are going to learn about different engines you are going to learn about uh, uh, electrical motors uh, uh, boats ships planes all these things you are going to learn in four years of mechanical engineering so mechanical engineering is all about uh, machines and the industries and there is one other in engineering electrical and electronics engineering in this electrical and electronics engineering what people are going to learn is uh, how the electricity gets uh, generated how it gets transmitted how the electrical motor works 
what are the different types of electricity available like a solar energy, wind energy and all these energies. And you are really passionate about electrical energy, electrical energy generation, electrical energy transmission. You are planning to work in electricity related uh, industry like a factory or a government organization or anything you are planning to do some research. These days, most of the cars are coming electric cars. So people might be interested in those cars. You might want to do some PhD in electrical engineering. That is your choice. And you have electronics and communication engineering. In most of the colleges, in older colleges, we have this uh, electronics and com communication in most of the colleges. What are you going to learn here is uh, like uh, motherboards, switches, uh, 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 phones, cell phones, and uh, the automated machines. And uh, on the communication side, we are going to learn about the wireless communication, wired communication. Uh, you are going to learn about uh, the telephones, the internet, all the communication types. And there is another older engineering called electronics and instrumentation, instrumentation engineering. Here also you are going to learn about most of these things. But one specialty here is instrumentation. So you have different instruments. For example, you have an ECG machine, you have an MRI machine. Uh, th those are the medical side of equipments. And uh, non-medical equipments are something like you have uh, what we call... Uh, the the meter which we which is going to uh, check your speed the meter which is going to check uh, the electricity uh, so all the different types of instruments there are so many instruments in the world and especially the industry the companies use a lot of instrument uh, instruments uh, that is the specialization in electronics and, uh, and instrument instrumentation engineering there are some colleges which are go going in electronics and telecom engineering. So this is similar to electronics and communication engineering. Little bit difference is more mostly you are uh, going to learn more about the telecom industry. Okay. Uh, in telecom industry, for example, you have uh, 3G, 4G, 2G, 3G, 4G. Uh, now we have 5G. Soon you are going to see 7G coming. It's again wireless and wired telecommunication engineering. Okay, and there is a production engineering. This production engineering is again a sibling of a mechanical engineering. So more focus for this uh, production engineering is you are going to study about the factory, how the production happens in the factory. So a little bit, little bit detailed study within the mechanical engineering on production side. Okay. So these are the traditional branches. Uh, now we will jump into uh, computer engineering. So within the computer engineering, almost every college is offering so many different types of engineering branches. I'm going to go into one of each one of them. Okay? So artificial intelligence and data science. Some of the colleges are offering computer science engineering with artificial intelligence. Some of the co colleges are offering uh, my internet not stable. Let me change. I am audible, right? Shada bhai? Yes, bhai. Yes, bhai. Yes, bhai. You are audible. All right. Okay. Because here it was saying my internet is not stable. So I just wanted to check my voice. All right, let me go back to all the computer engineering branches now. The one is computer science engineering or computer engineering with artificial intelligence, computer engineering with data science, computer engineering with machine learning, and regular computer science and engineering. So like that, different names are there, but most of these courses are similar to each other. There is no big difference. There is a small minor difference in all these branches. And when you go to college, the college is putting all these things. If you go to any college website, they'll say computer engineering related branches, which means they are all related to computers. And most of the subject in these all uh, 
courses are similar. So what is artificial intelligence, first of all? The artificial intelligence means the system where you are, uh, you are going to develop a system or you are going to work on a system, that system is going to behave as if it's a human. It's, no one can replace human, but there are a few things the system is going to um, uh, understand and interpret as if it, it, the system itself is a human and it makes decisions on your behalf. Uh, if, if I want to give an example of artificial intelligence, what happens is uh, recently what I did is I have uh, a car wash. So I am paying monthly. Uh, when I just go there, there will be no person and the system is going to read my number plate and it opens the door. It is reading my number plate and opening the door. There is no special device or anything. They have entered my number plate in their system and the system reads my number plate and opens the door as if there is a person reading the number plate and opening the door. That is the simple example I can give for artificial intelligence. So similar to this, you can develop hi-fi systems where the artificial intelligence happens. Uh, I can give another example. Ab samjho ke MSAT ka result aa gaya hai. Uh, IIT ka result aa gaya. On but that particular day, a uh, lot of people come and they want to check their result and the servers are going to crash. So the artificial intelligence is whenever the traffic increases, it is going to increase number of servers. If there are 100 people, one server. 500 people, three servers. 10,000 people, 25 servers. So somewhere it is going to check the traffic. As the traffic increases, it increases the number of servers. It's the artificial intelligence, as if someone is sitting there and increasing the number of machines. You understand the concept, right? Abrahiba data science. What is the data science? Data science means in, in like 25, 30 years ago, computers and these computers industry was new. And from that day onwards, the companies are implementing the computers and they have accumulated a lot of data. You have a Reliance ki dukan hai, right? If you go to Reliance, you shop. You are going to buy eggs, you are going to buy bread, you are going to buy many, many things. And Reliance has a shop in five days, 10 different places in Hyderabad itself. Now com uh, uh, compare that with the entire country. In all India, how many Reliance shops are there? And in each shop, how many people are buying eggs? How many people are buying bread? And uh, maybe same person coming and buying the bread again, milk again. I want to find out in which shop more people are buying bread, in which shop people are buying bread along with uh, eggs. If you understand, it's a huge data, lot of information, but from that information, I am trying to extract useful information, useful information for the business. If Reliance want to start another shop, where they have to open? If they want to introduce another product, which product they have to uh, start? Uh, you, you wanted to find out which shop is not really selling the bread. If they are selling the bread, less bread. How many people are buying bread along with milk, milk along with bread? How many people are buying eggs and bread, bread and eggs combination? All this information, if the management is looking for, they go to people who are the experts in data. So they are calling a new system called data science or data engineer or data engineering. These are the different terms they are using. So you have a lot of data and from that data, they are trying to find out different patterns. Uh, if I want to give another example, recently the COVID happened and the government or the health department wants to understand in which age group the COVID cases are more, between age 20 and 30, 30 and 40, 50 and 60, and how many people are having COVID 
and they already have a diabetes or not. How many people have a COVID, they already have a cancer or not? Uh, in which state, in which district, the number of uh, COVID cases are more? If you want to get this information, you have a lot of data, huge data, some millions and billions of records. Out of that data, you have to extract something which is useful. So that is called data engineering or data science or data scientist. And uh, they want to draw a graph. Uh, for example, some new virus came or new problem came and they want to see the graph. So for example, uh, we are putting an advertisement. Uh, election is happening and Congress party, BJP, both the parties are putting the advertisement and they are trying to see who is watching their advertisement? The young people, old people, retired people, college people with a college degree, all that information. And they want all that information in the form of a graph. And which advertisement is really popular, which advertisement is not popular. All these things you can do from the data. That is called data science or data scientist. I think I have given enough examples for the data science. Uh, let's go to machine learning. So machine learning is another branch of computer engineering. What people do in this is uh, when the car comes, that uh, machine is reading my number plate. All of a sudden, the machine cannot read. So we have to teach the machine how to read the number plate because there are so many different types of number plate plates, different uh, shapes of uh, fonts of the information. So each time it has to read the number plate and scan the number plate and then it has to understand. So we have to teach the machine. And how are we going to teach? You are going to just keep giving different types of number plates so that machine understands and the machine makes the mistakes and then we have to correct those mistakes. Our example, if I tell you, these days I don't have to go to bank to deposit the check. So what I'll do is I'll just go to the bank and... Uh, put the check inside the ATM machine and the ATM machine reads my check. It reads the numbers and it says, oh, you have $3,492 in this check. Are you going to accept this or not? Machine is reading the handwritten text. Our handwritten text is not easy to read, right? So we have to teach the machine how to read those numbers which I have written on the check. Bank is using means it is really sensitive matter. I am depositing $15,000 check and the machine says it is only $5,000. It cannot read number one. So it's a big flaw. So this is called machine learning. The machines are going to learn uh, how to read the check, how to read the number plate or anything like that. That all machine learning means. college <laughs> So people have to do a lot of uh, training to become masters in artificial intelligence, data, data science, uh, machine learning. So as I said in the beginning, all these courses are almost similar. You might have a little bit of uh, deviation here and there, but I'm just trying to give you the context in industry, computer ki dunya mein kaha pe use hota hai sab. Theek hai? So AI ho gaya, data science ho gaya, machine learning ho gaya, then comes the computer science and engineering. This is the oldest branch in most of the colleges. You have this branch for last 20, 30 years, and you might have very good lab in those colleges. You might have very good professors in those colleges. So if you are not getting anything, computer science engineering is the easy branch. You don't have to be confused and you can go and get it. You can expect uh, good professors, good good labs. You can definitely do your uh, research before you join the college. College mein sab kuch hai ke nahi hai. But uh, that is the oldest branch. Here they are going to teach you about the basics of computers. Computer kaise kaam karta hai? Computer mein operating system kya hai? Oh, how the devices connect to the computer? How the device drivers are going to work? how the operating systems are being developed, what, what are the different types of operating systems available, what are the programming languages, what is the programming language means, what is assembly language, high level language, all the computer basics they are going to teach. This is the foundation of all the computers. Okay. So now 
the colleges are coming up with uh, fancy names computer science and engineering with artificial intelligence computer science and engineering with ai and ml computer science and engineering with the data science okay that's how the college uh, are coming up with the uh, fancy names information technology information technology is again the old course in most of the colleges you have this course for 10 15 18 20 years uh, if you think uh, you are not getting anything else. You are getting information technology course. That is fine. In this course, they are not going to go deep into the computer basics, operating systems and all those things. But most of the focus in this course should be on how to develop the software. What are the tools and technologies you need to develop the software? And what are the software development uh, uh, methodologies? and how you are going to design your software project and uh, how you are going to implement in production. All, all these things comes in the information technology. So end of the day, the colleges are going to go by syllabus and you can also download the syllabus from the college website to understand better about these uh, courses. But uh, th those are the things comes under information technology. If it is information technology and you are saying you completed Bachelor of Engineering with information technology, uh, my expectation, if I am hiring you, the expectation is you are going to understand the basics, foundations of information technology, software development, those things. Okay. Uh, AI machine learning, computer, uh, communication, uh, civil engineering, mechanical computers, computer science, production, instrumentation, telecom. Huh. There is one more course here. <laughs> Take it. This is uh, IoT. So in some colleges, they are offering IoT, Internet of Things. When you say thing, what is the thing? The thing here is you have a refrigerator in your home. You have a cooktop, chulla hai ghar pe. You have a microwave at your home. You have a garage door opener at your home. Similar to that, you have many devices at your, you have a solar uh, electricity system at your home. These are the different things you have at your home. And all these things are connected to internet. That's why it is called Internet of Things, IOT. So Internet of Things means you have a refrigerator at home and its door is open. Someone opened the door and forgot to close. No matter where you sit, within your home or outside the home, you are going to get a notification. The refrigerator door is open. It is left open. Jaake band karo. It's not going to close right now in 2024. There are no systems which is which are going to close the door. Maybe in future you are going to get uh, such, such systems. But right now, it is going to tell you door is open, go and close it. Otherwise, it is going to show you there are cameras attached to the fridge and it is going to tell, oh, there are no eggs in the fridge. There are eggs in the fridge. There is a milk in the fridge. So these are the things you will be able to uh, understand no matter where you are. So fridge is communicating with the internet and fridge is giving you some information, not too much information. There, there are a lot of things which are supposed to be developed, but they are still developing. So if the college is really giving you a knowledge about IoT, this is the thing they are, they are supposed to give. And most of the colleges, IoT is a new I don't know how many colleges have sophisticated labs and qualified professors, but this is the thing they are going to teach. Similarly, you kept something in microwave or a regular or conventional oven, and it is going to tell the, your oven is ready, your food is ready. Otherwise, your, it is going to tell your garage door is open. You can close, no matter where you are sitting, you can close the garage door. Uh, if you have a solar system, it is going to tell you uh, how much electricity, solar electricity is being generated today and uh, how much is being used in which room, how much is being used. 
these are the intelligent systems, intelligent things they are developing. It is still developing. I'm not saying developed. They are still developing. These are all new. And you can interact with all these machines at home, all these things at home. That's why it is Internet of Things. So going forward, you're going to see more and more devices because the companies have to invest a lot of money to manufacture these kind of devices. And a lot of research is still going on. So in next 20, 30 years, you are going to see many more devices which are going to interact with the internet and they are going to talk to you through an app. Otherwise, if you have a Amazon Alexa or Google Home at your home, uh, these devices are going to talk to your Amazon Alexa and you can tell the Amazon Alexa to do some things. So going forward, this is going to happen and a lot of uh, companies are trying to bring more and more devices. So that's why these colleges are offering this course. As I said, I don't know how many colleges have qualified staff and the lab and how good their syllabus is because these things are changing very fast, right? So IOT is one other course within the computer engineering department, Internet of Things. Uh, I don't know what is this CS and BCT. We'll come back. Uh, electrical electronics. These are the different courses they have. Go Karaju has electronics and communication, electrical uh, information technology, mechanical, civil, computer science, business system. So Go Karaju has is something different. They just wanted to come up with another fancy name. So the here the fancy name is the business systems, computer science and engineering. The computer science and business systems. So computer science is computer science, but what is business systems? Business systems means you are develop, you are trying to develop so many different systems which are going to be used by the industry. And you have to uh, define, design, uh, and uh, come up with uh, different uh, requirements for the business. So for example, uh, a company comes to me and say they want to develop an artificial intelligence system to read the number plates. So now it is a person who is a business expert to analyze how that system is supposed to be, how it is supposed to read those things and where the data will be stored, how the data is supposed to be learning, what are the different types of number plates are there. So all this analysis will be done by a business person and that person has to have a lot of computer knowledge also. So that is what the business system means. And I was going through the detailed syllabus of this number seven in Gokaraju. And uh, I did find most of the things like uh, you have computer related things, you have software related things, IT related things, uh, you have uh, machine learning related things, artificial intelligence. So there are all club together and they have created a new system called business system. One additional, two, three additional courses I have seen is the business analysis, uh, the financial analysis, feasibility, industrial engineering. These are the different courses they have in this number seven, computer science and business, business systems. But the expectation is people are going to understand the business and how come up with the business requirements. That is the understanding. That is the expectation. Okay. Uh, CSE, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, Data Science, uh, Computer Science, Information Technology, uh, Instrumentation Engineering, we, we already discussed about this, uh, Information Technology, Communication Engineering, Networks. So the Kids Warangal College has Computer Science and Engineering with Networks. What is Network? Network means all these computers, all these devices are all connected to Network. Sometimes they are connected using a wire. Sometimes they are connected using wireless. Wireless is Wi-Fi or something else. But the bottom line is when these all devices are connected to internet or the network, there is a possibility of network failure. We have to have a backup mechanism. There is a possibility of some kind of uh, hacking or unauthorized usage. So people have to have some networking knowledge, uh, how the data is flowing, who is using the data, who is accessing the data, who has access 
who has permissions to do, do things are they doing really as per their permissions or not how much is the network traffic network traffic increased the network speed reduced all these things people are going to look and these days everything is a cloud so in cloud we have uh, uh, like amazon cloud google cloud ibm cloud everyone has their own cloud and which cloud is uh, cheaper and how much money we are spending on the cloud whether it is really worth it or not how many machines we are running on the cloud all these things people are going to learn the expectation is people are going to learn all these things if it is a network specialty within the computer engineering uh, are they teaching i don't know whether the syllabus has all these thing i don't know i cannot go to each uh, college website and download the uh, syllabus but the expectation is these are the things uh, as i said this is iot you have data science uh, electronics and communication already has these co these courses uh, did did i miss any course can you tell anyone on the chat or unmute and tell me? I think I covered everything. Which should yeah? Cyber security, yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> So cybersecurity is another uh, course. Uh, what what they what they are supposed to teach in the cybersecurity and what is the expectation? If you have an engineering degree hai with the speciality in cybersecurity and you are applying for the job, my expectation is you know the concepts of cybersecurity and what are the different concepts of cybersecurity and how you are going to uh, build the secure systems, how you are going to defend the existing systems, how you are going to train the people on cybersecurity concepts within the company, and how you are going to lay out the policies of cybersecurity. Uh, th these are the different things we are going to expect. So cybersecurity may, again, we have like four or five different uh, sub departments when it comes to company, when it comes to job within the cybersecurity, there are different types of uh, job profiles. One is network security. As I said before, uh, when you have a network, we want to understand who is supposed to access the network, who is not supposed to access the network, how ex how much they have to they have access. These are the things in uh, network side, and they want to make sure the networks are on, the networks are working, uh, people are able to access who has uh, authorization. This is all about the network security. So you are going to define, design, configure, maintain, all those things you do on network security side within the cybersecurity. Within the cybersecurity, there is another department called ethical hacking. Ethical hacking means you know how to hack the systems, but you are not going to hack just for the fun, but you are trying to, uh, whenever a new system is being developed, you are going to do some kind of a testing to make sure the system cannot be hacked by hackers. It is a continuous process. No system is perfect, but you do your best to make sure protect the systems within the company. That is ethical hacking. So ethical hacking is another stream within the cybersecurity. Network security, cybersecurity. There is third thing. Uh, it is uh, IAM, identity and access management. In identity and access management, you are going to develop a system which is going to identify people. हम जब कभी भी है ना बैंक में लॉगिन करते हैं तो फर्स्ट थिंग दे आर आस यूजर नेम पासवर्ड व्हाई आर दे आस्किंग यूजर नेम पासवर्ड यू हैव टू आईडेंटिफाई योरसेल्फ हु यू आर देन इट इज गोइंग टू सेंड यू सम ओटीपी सो ओटीपी इज अनदर सिक्योरिटी फीचर राइट सो यू आर गोइंग टू आईडेंटिफाई यू आर द ऑथेंटिक यूजर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर अकाउंट एंड विद इन द बैंक इफ यू गो देयर इज अ बैंक मैनेजर यू हैव अ बैंक क्लर्क यू हैव हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट each person has different level of access within the bank so this access management is again part of cyber security if you go to many of these new companies or even the private organization you have to
to swipe your badge. If you swipe yourself, who you are. ठीक है? So identity and access management, ethical hacking, penetration testing. Uh, there are so many different things comes under the cybersecurity. The bottom line is you are trying to make sure the software is safe, secure. The company's data is safe and secure. People who have authorized authorization, they are the only one who is going to access, not anyone. And everyone. That is the bottom line. So everything else. Could should you out? Help me. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Sir. What did I miss? Sir, CSC, AIML, or normal AIML, what is the difference? Okay. Uh, CGC side, we have. Uh, who is here? We can stop the recording, right?